Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. I want to say thank you so much to every single one of you for taking the time to watch these crusty videos. I'm actually filming on the cell phone. I'm actually I'm enjoying it. It's a little bit easier. Uh, it just it fits in my pocket. Um, I mean, kind of, it's with me at all times. It just, it looks good. Hey, I got a, I'm going to be taking some, some, some kids fishing, some high school kids fishing. They, they kind of want a trip to come fishing with Rackley myself. I'm going to go link up with Rackley. I was originally going to do all this. I laid all these out. I don't know if you guys watched the Real American Channel. I laid all these out. I was going to put them in boxes. Then, of course, I forgot the boxes, which is not really, shouldn't really surprise very many people. I literally laid all these out and I was like, hold on a sec. We don't have boxes to put them in. So they've been sitting on top of my counter for the last day. Sarah's, she's getting pretty tired of it, I think. Not gonna lie. I'm just kidding. Sarah doesn't care. But I want to see if I can get them all inside of... My butt just turned that on. It was weird. Bent over and did that. All right. I'm gonna see if I can get them at least all inside of there. Maybe a trash bag. God, I spent all that time. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on. I'm an idiot. I spent all that time organizing them. There we go. Now you're making some sense. There we go. Okay, I showed up to the warehouse. I got all my little clutches inside of my uh, little tackle box there. I try to try to stack them all on there just so I can have some room, which is good. Now I've actually got some, some top waters in here. And I think there's someone inside the store, and I don't know if you guys noticed the other day, I gave away all my crankbaits to some random person that was in the store buying some stuff, and I need I need the room. So I'm going to, well, if there's somebody in there, they're going to get some uh, some top waters. Spent the last hour or so getting all the baits actually put back into the boxes. Put into boxes they, they should have been in. I, I mean, like I said, I, I forgot the boxes last time, but we got them all set up, and I feel really organized. I know a lot of you guys, I mean, you guys all like toggle. I love toggle. Let's see. I'm going to these things open real quick. So I actually have the normal sized recons, which are these ones right here. These are just the recons that go 8 to 12 foot. I got them in there, and I also have the grandes, which go 12 to 16. Got those in one uh, deep cranking coffin, and then I've got my, my mini recons and another one. And I got my mini bangers in this one right here. So we're golden. I'm, I'm all about organization. I'm just showing you guys this is how I have myself organized currently. And then my normal size bangers, all in there. And then there's Rackley on a little bike. And then I've got all the clutches. I think I showed you guys already. Good there. These are all the flat sider. I don't really know exactly why I put them in here, just because I like this coffin a lot, so I put them in there. And then I got the uh, the old uh, blooper, the old poppers right there. And then last but not least, got the walking baits right there, the old hounds, they're all inside of this thing. And I like this for these, because of course they're so long and they don't get tangled. So, cool. Oh, last but not least, grinded bangers. So we're good. I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and get out of here though. Now we're just getting down here. I'll tell you guys right now, if you guys have ever traveled with a boat, this is the worst part, is trying to find a place to park your truck and your boat without getting out, well, kicked out of a hotel, as you guys do know. I actually probably should lock up Wow, this thing kicked the light on. That's pretty neat. Anyway, I probably should lock some of the stuff up. That is really cool. I'm filming on my phone. I know it sounds really crazy, but it just flipped the light on. That's okay. Yeah, gotta lock some of the stuff up. Don't want it to get stolen. Is this our first TikTok? <laughs> no, this is just filming a video. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Me and you on TikTok. Wouldn't that be entertaining? That would be. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it for a TikTok. I'm tying what some folks may call a connection knot. Yeah, it looks like a hell of a connection knot. Otherwise known as a uni uni spice knot. Splice knot, I'd like to call it spice <laughs> knot. So I don't really believe exactly, I, I don't think I've really told you guys exactly what's going on. Myself and Rackley are going fishing with fun and sun boats. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at this. I gotta, I gotta flip this around. Look at that. Love seeing that. I don't, I don't know if this is the one we're fishing. I have absolutely no idea. All right, so what I was actually trying to say was the, uh, the thing that's going on is we're here with fun and sun boats. They set up a, like a fishing trip giveaway deal. They, they have like this, this giant ranch. I'm talking the massive ranch. It's got 18 lakes on it. That's absurd. And they asked Rackley if we'd like to come out and fish. I was like, why wouldn't I want to come there and fish? It sounds like an awesome time. But they also did it with a giveaway with some some uh, high school anglers who want a chance to come fish with Rackley and I. And I always I always love getting the opportunity to come out and fish with you guys, hang out with you guys. So why would I ever turn that down? That is crazy. But yeah, we're out here. Uh, I've never been to anything like this. I mean, this is it's a it's just imagine. I feel like is that an holy shit? That's an elk eating in somebody's front yard. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna make, what the f That's real, really big. I've got my mouth calls in my truck at all times. They're still driving, they don't realize that I even stopped. I don't think you guys understand, that is an actual elk sitting in someone's front yard right now. That's a big elk. 
Holy, what the? Okay, what kind of place are we on right now? Those aren't supposed to be here in Texas either. <laughs> okay, uh, this is probably the coolest place I've ever been. In my time, there's another elk. There's another one. Hey, oh my God, that is huge. Oh my God, he's so big. What are you doing, buddy? I don't even, I don't even, I'm gonna be perfectly bluntly honest with you guys. I don't even care about fishing right now. That is a absolute monster elk. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if I ever get an opportunity to where I have enough land, this, this actually might be a new, my new personal goal in my life, to buy enough land, to buy an elk as a pet. To have a couple pet elk, that's what I want. After seeing that, that's pretty much all those were were pet elk. I'm sure there's people that might hunt these things. This ranch is huge, by the way. I don't know how many thousands and tens of thousands of acres it is, but it is absolutely massive. This guy's got a mountain on here. He's got elk. That, that's, that's my new personal goal in life. I want to have enough land to have my own lake and my own pet elk. Just to look at them, walk around, feed them. You know, by the time they get kind of the ripe old age of like 10, Maybe time to, time to turn them into ground beef and backstrap steaks and tenderloins. <sighs> Question. I just said turn them into ground beef. Elk's not beef. Elk is elk. Update. That wouldn't be a question. That would be just stating a fact. I, I also just thought about something in my life goal. I could just move to Colorado and have free pet elk. That would also be an option. Or, you know, I just came up over this hill and this is a giant lake. Could just stay in Texas and own one of these. Look at that. That is huge. Oh, well, you can't really, this picture doesn't really show very well, but it goes all the way around there and back around. All the way back around that way. So it's got some rock on the bank, a bit of rock, some trees. Oh, look at all those flipping logs over there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go the opposite ways, Rackley. Is that way good? Oh, hey, whoa. Uh, what do you think the biggest fish we're going to catch today is, if you guys were to guess? 12? I'll take that. 20? Okay. So everybody sitting at home, I'm actually going to try something a little bit different today. Uh, buzz bait with, a, with one of our little saucy swimmers on the back. Rackley was talking about it yesterday, and I've actually never, never actually tried this. I'm sure a lot of you are saying I'm crazy for not trying this, but I haven't. So that's going to be the ticket this morning, I hope. <coughs> All right. Rackley! It says they haven't caught any yet. I'm a big stump guy. It's really clear. Is it really clean? Yeah. Okay. Now it says really clear, huh? You can see the bottom. Oh man, this is extremely clear. Yeah. Holy crap. Let's kick let's kick that graph on. Let's see how deep this thing gun is. That is really clean water. Yeah. Oh my god, that's clean, clean. This is like drop shot type clean. Yeah, that's right. This is super drop shot clean. Oh. oh, oh my god, he missed it again. You get the tail? Son of a gun. Must be a little one. There he is, first cast. This one. First cast. So that's why we use swim baits and underspins in clean water right there. Oh, fat boy. What's up? You want to use one? I just I had just I just rigged an entire drop shot up. Yeah, right there. You want it? I'll give it to you. Oh, he's not bad. I'm telling you, he's just I don't know what is what is it with him. Underspins and drop water or <laughs> underspins in clean water. They absolutely love it. Yeah, I've got a couple of those. I let it sink all the way to the bottom, sort of slow rolling it. You can have this one. I got more. I got a lot of swim baits. You want one too? You're good. Okay. It's like, do I feel like throwing a big swim bait though? I'm gonna let you do that, and I will throw a swim bait. I'll tie this jig on this shorter rod. You guys ever fish clean water like this? I haven't turned it. Oh, first cast. Dude. Oh my not. First cast. You want him? He's a big in, dude. He's a big in. Oh dude, I just got hit. He's got smoked. I just got hit. Hey, you guys caught each other's line. Bro, I, I thought I had a fish in. <laughs> I did buy a TFO one and it's my worst. There's a fish fish. There's one. You want this drop shot? You got him? Oh, he just spit it. He just spit it? Dude, another one following me. Dude, you had another one following me. Yeah. yeah. 
Can you I, you, can you I want this? One? You want this, Rob? Drop shot. You can take it. Shot, you want it? Say. Here, take it. Alright. You can throw this one away. I don't care. Here, take this. This one's catching them. Yeah. I mean you can't really you're gonna hook up if you if they bite this thing. That was a, that was another one following. Is yeah. I mean just it, we ain't got no wind, it'll be fine. You'll be good. It was off that tree over there in the back one. Yeah. Okay. You want you want to try a Ned rig in the back? That's up to you. I don't care. I'm about, I'm about to put it on. If you're not going to throw it, then I'm going to throw it. Or an underspin. Or you can throw a jig. I don't care. I'm here for you. Yeah, you tell me. Never. What's that? A Ned rig? Um, here, I'll show you. How's it going? What do you think about a crankbait? Yeah, I already, already caught a few on that. I thought you would have already caught all of them. If I told you I had a fish on right now on the first cast with this little on that tree right there, would you believe me? Oh, he's off. Oh, sh came back. <laughs> Is it the right kind? I don't know. Look, he keeps coming back and eating it. <laughs> He's came back and ate it a few times. It's a little, uh, little mini recon. <laughs> it's a little, literally a little beat up. I think I'm gonna get. To, I think I'm gonna switch over to the bigger one. Oh yes, good cast. There's one. I just watched your rod just bend over. What are you using? Is that a good rod? A good one? What are you throwing? Oh look, a Ned rig fish. That's crazy, Rackley. Right. Is he pretty big? Look at that little plump. Look at that little, look at that little turd nugget right there. There you go. That's your first Ned Rig fish? Yeah. Tell you, a lot of people don't put faith in it because it's just a tiny little bait. Down here in Texas, we don't use them a ton, but when we get clean water, all day. Hey, is he big? Is he big? Glad we're having this conversation one way right now. I'm that guy throwing a crankbait in calm water with elk in the background. When the hell, how the hell does that happen? I don't mind bass fishing this in the elk. I'm gonna go bigger. I'm gonna go bigger on my crankbait. I'm gonna go big. I got a little mini on right now. Just put all these in yesterday. You guys use any of these yet? Try way too much time on these. All right, let's go catch some fish. A little bit of a break. God dang it. There we go. Well, still, what in the world is going on with this thing? It's the Shimano Corrado, it's the new black ones. Some grass down there. Hey, Rackley, uh, a lot of grass on the bottom there, buddy. Oh, big. Holy hump. Holy hump, and there's a fish right there, baby. Right on the edge of this hump. You got smoked? I've got a, I think it's a little, yeah, it's a little tiny one. Tiny one. Right there. Yeah, there's a grass literally right there. Look behind you guys. Oh, calm yourself, don't do this. Hey, Rackley, I'm holding the bass and there's an elk ripping a bugle. <laughs> yeah, there's a big there's a big one right there. It's a big one right over there. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like they're shooting doves or something. Doves or ducks. Hey, there's a bunch of grass on this. This is like so ideal for You guys got a you guys still got those on? The tight on? I was gonna say you guys still got your underspins? Oh yeah, you're still throwing it. Yeah, that's his, this is the ticket right here. Rockley, I'll go over these trees and leave you alone. I mean, look at, look at that, look at that thing. Just look at that. You see it? I toss it over you for your look. You don't even look. Look at that thing. Say a little dangle nugget swimming. I'm gonna go catch him on this, this little rock wall with the trees real quick. Yeah, it's got them. They're loaded there. I've got my, my visions going right now. Oh, you got them? Digging? Oh, come on. Dong. <laughs> Dongler. Dompler. Dompler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got a whole bunch chasing my my swim bait up. Uh, two. Is that is that enough? It's pretty deep right here, dude. Probably 17 foot, 18 foot. There's a fish. I got one. He's off. No biggie. <clears throat> I got the uh, 4.8 inch underspin. Oh no, I got 3.8 on. Holy cast. You guys cast it like that. That's how you guys win tournaments right there. You see that? Right into the middle of the tree. Is he big? Here. Oh, I can see him. He's coming up. No? No, oh, he's a good fish, dude. That's a fat fish. There you go. You want me, you want that, me to grab him? Swing that son of a gun. Oh, geez, I forgot about mine. Dude, I don't boy. There you go. Damn it. Don't worry about me, guys. Just in the tree. Let me see that fish, man. Is that a good one? Yeah. Three, three and a half. Let me see that thing. How much do you think he weighs? Oh, he's three. three yeah. yeah, he's three. It's a good fish, though. No! Oh, I guess. That's a good fish. Or he's behind that tree. Or he might be good, I don't know. 
Or he's behind the tree, which he's behind the tree, wasn't he? Ah, uh, come on. Oh, he's still behind the tree. That's a good feed. That's not bad. It is not bad. Not bad. Yeah, he swallowed that thing. Yeah, that is a good one. You are right. Hey, Rackley, I found a good one. I did find a good one. Five, four and a half. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm on the... Uh, if I didn't catch one three and a half train or better, I have to go get that tattoo. I forgot about that. That's a pretty good little thing. What do you think? This thing was three and a half at least? Yeah? Yeah. That's all we need to get. I forgot about that. We're still on that. Well, hey, I gotta I gotta I gotta make it a challenge for myself. <sighs> That's a pretty good fish, guys. Tattoo, I said I've been doing this thing like a Guggen Squad tattoo. Let me dip in real quick. If I don't catch a three and a half or better, I have to go get the Guggen Squad tattoo. And the next video it's like four and then goes up to four and a half and yeah. five and so on and so forth. Yeah. Just to make sure, because everybody likes to keep me keep me on my toes here. Make sure I actually do what I say. All right, so I said, what was it, three and a half I said I have to get? That ain't right. That can't be right. No, that ain't right. It said 211. Oh, right now it's saying negative pounds. Okay. What the heck? There's no way that's right. That can't be right. It's saying it's a 211. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, well, this is the only scale I got, and I, I think it's I think it's wrong. It's saying it's a, maybe maybe it's not. Maybe, it's a, maybe it is a three pounder. Dang it. I thought it was over three. Maybe it's just thin. Okay, well, since you guys are sitting here, at least I have to catch a, at a minimum, a three and a half pounder in this video, or I have to go get the Guggen Squad tattooed on my leg uh, here very soon, which I, I know it's gonna happen at some point. I just wanna see how many fish or how big it takes for me to to make it to where I have to go get it. I almost feel bad, cat, not, not a, I should make it bigger than three, since we're on like a private place. There's another one. Yep. Nope. I don't think you're letting it sink all the way. What's that? Hell yeah. This one takes skill to catch, buddy. How big his mouth is. You wanna let it sink? Yeah, let it sink all the way down to the bottom until you get slack line. And then I just slow roll it. Big ones would be in deep water. Yep. Little guy. Are you sure you're going to the bottom? You sure? Cause I mean, they're here. Like they're definitely, wow, he just decided to kick on when he gets next to the boat. He must have been running at the boat that entire time. Oh yeah. We don't do this. I'll let it go all the way to the bottom. And just slow roll, slow roll. You got one? Do you, you want to watch what I'm doing? I mean, it's it's really not, there's no there's no jerking of the rod. It's literally just get it out there and then let it sit and go all the way down. You want it, you want to like maintain the bottom. Here, I'll put, I'll put up this underspin so you can, so I'm not throwing the same thing as you. Yeah, there's some sausages in there. Grab the uh, 448 one. I think because you got a five-out hook on that. Rackley, you throwing a jig? Yeah, I so say you throwing a jig. Yeah, so, so this bottom's not really uh, super exciting for a jig. You think I should try the Tokyo rig? Damn, that's a good idea. I'll, t I'll tie on the, you keep throwing that. That's working. That's like for sure working. I'll tie on the Tokyo rig. I've actually never caught anything on a Tokyo rig yet. I lost a bit of money the other day on this Tokyo rig. I asked that kid in the store. He took me for 860 bucks. They're gonna be stacked on this tree right here. There's one. There he is. Oh, it's not a very big one. There's one. Oh, he ate it right. Oh, buddy. Oh, you've got a good one on? Oh, I've got one right here, too. Is that a big, big? Oh, big, big. There you go, buddy. There you go. Dude, buddy. Oh, dude, he barely had it. Dude, I bet you there's way more than just these ones down there. Whoa, jeez. Came up top. I would ask you if you'd like to use this bait, but it seemed like every time I hand you something, it just kind of, I pick up something else and they eat that. Yeah, I might keep giving like, hey man, you wanna keep using this? Wanna use this? Wanna yeah. use this? Quick little update for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be switching lakes after lunch right now. They're, like I said, there's, I, I, I think I said 18 lakes. It's actually 22 lakes on this place and they have 14,000 acres. They have elk and all this other crazy, crazy stuff. I'm really glad I got to come out with these kids. Uh, I, it feels good to, to be able to physically teach them something in person. They have never actually ever thrown a swim bait on an underspin or even thrown an underspin at all. So it's kind of cool to get them some confidence and to teach them like in person instead of doing it like through a video, you know what I mean? That's a little update. I'm having a good time with these guys. I'm glad I got to uh, come on and do this. I feel like I feel like there's got to be a way for me to do this more often with more of you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a chat with Rackley to see if there's a way for us to, I don't know, do something like this more often with the high school anglers, the younger kids. 
All right, I'm gonna put the boat up. We're gonna get into another another lake. I'll need a ham and cheese and a sandwich, baby. Yeah, it's 83 degrees here in Texas still. I'm pretty sure these elk are not really enjoying this weather. Probably just taking a nap in the trees. This other lake that we're going to on here, I, I still can't fathom that there's they have lakes on this place that are actually bigger than the one we were just on. And uh, this one's supposed to be a lot more flipping, which I love flipping. You guys know I love flipping. But I really want to see if later on this evening, if we're going to be here this evening, I don't know how long we'll actually stay here, if I can get an elk, an elk to actually come up and... Uh, I don't know, play ball. I didn't want to go chase him this, this morning. I know the kids wanted to get on the water, so that's kind of why I didn't, I don't know. I, I was having like a squirrel moment this morning, as most of you guys probably probably realize who watch this channel. I kind of squirrel out every, every so once in a while. But there is no shortage of water on this ranch. I'll tell you guys what. Kind of like a small little bridge here. Oh, it's made out of concrete. I thought it was made out of wood. Yeah, there's no shortage of water anywhere here. These elk don't have any issues when it comes to drought season, I guess. Oh. I got another one on right there. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down. I'm sorry. I know how frustrating it can be. Whoa, hey. Hey, look at this fish's eye. What's up with it? Oh, yeah, he's blind. He's blind. He's blind that eye. Now nah, here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'll sit down. I'm gonna let you come up here and fish because I know how. I know how frustrating this can be. <sighs> Crankbait? Do you want? Do you want to use this? We should have, man. We should have taken another one, doubled up again. <laughs> yeah, we should have. Yeah, do you want to? Do you want to use this? I, I, I got to. Do you want to? Do you want to use this? Okay, you here. Want, you want to hold it? <laughs> yeah, with me. I don't want you want? I know it's left-handed. Is that fine? Yeah, I'm left-handed. Okay. But... Okay. There you go. Just, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you catch some fish. I just wanted you to catch a fish. I mean, we are. We are literally three hours deep into this. Good one. Good one. Oh, he's gonna get in the trees, isn't he? Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's a good one. Look at that. Oh. Oh, and he on the underspin. Yeah. See, it's all I had to do was just, you know. Hey, just there we go, me and Chris doubled. Oh, and he's hooked. Oh, hey, that's a tree. What's up, tree? Whoa, hold on. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna start fishing because you just caught a good one. Wait, probably wait. stacked out here in these trees, wait. though. Wait, I'm gonna do That's the LFG special right there. Well, I'm telling you, tell you right, these right here are probably, they're probably stacked in these trees with this wind blowing on right here. I mean, this is, we're in 20 foot of water right now. This is, look at these trees out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the crank back up since you caught one. Because I still need to catch one over three and a half. <laughs> you never threw an underspin before today? Oh, you're crazy. You never throw one either? Have you ever caught a fish on one? You never throw one? Dude, you guys need to start throwing. Put that thing in your life. Hunter spins are powerful. Funny is I haven't I've yet to catch one on Tokyo rigs. Like I start fishing it and then I'm like, nah. yeah, I'm like, let's do something else. Yeah, I've caught one on a Tokyo rig. Give it two bars. How big? Real big? Dude, you're just putting the you hammer down. You gotta have the right size. You gotta have the right size swim bait with it as well. What's up? Yeah, we've got. Three eights, four eights, three threes. Three threes are probably mainly just a. There's a fish. Yep. There he is. Switch right back over to the swim bait or the underspin. Oh man, he's bringing me out to the deeper water. Oh come on now, be a good one. Be a good one. Dude, this one, this one might be good. This one might be good. Oh no. He's thin. He's long and thin. I'm telling you, so I actually just went from the. What was I just using? I was using the recon. I went from the recon and wasn't getting bit. Switched right over to this first cast. Yeah, I went right back to the underspin. First cast and got hammered. You want one? You want underspin? Since you never hear, you want this one? Since you never used one before? I'll cut this off and you can use it, buddy. Uh, unless you want to use it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Here. You've never caught one on them, right? Or used one? Here. Um, just cast out, let it sink to the bottom and then slow roll and you'll feel the tail go. Okay. I'm going to put it on the other reel so I can that's fine. The Yeah, let's go a little deeper. This is pretty shallow. Yeah. I'm going to put a small 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back of it. Oh man, I wasn't recording and you guys missed the best part of the day so far. We had a, uh... We gotta, we gotta check and see if this one is three and a half because we still got that bet going on. But I just, I, I was hung up with the, uh, dang it, the old the old zinger. And uh, I'll tell you guys right now, there was another even bigger fish chasing this one all the way up. That sucks. Okay, I, he's gotta be three and a half. What's three and a half? 
How many ounces we got? Yeah. Son of a b You kidding me? Three six, almost three seven. Son of a b Are you kidding me? You are literally one ounce shy of being a three and a half pounder. What's up? No, I can just, okay. Oh, look at that. He's 310. Oh, he's 312? Son of a bitch. 38, 36, and 1 8. Bro, I want to throw my jig on here. I'm just curious. Throw your jig. Okay, well, I just caught this a second ago. I uh, I just weighed it, and it's actually, I think it's somewhere around an ounce shy of three and a half pounds. See, it keeps it keeps bumping three six and three eighths, three six and five eighths. Oh, his tail's resting. Son of a gun, he's just under three and a half pounds. He's three seven, three six and five eighths. Dang it. So I just caught him on this. I put, it has a, uh, it's uh, the Guggenzinger with a 3.3 inch little swim bait or a uh, saucy swimmer. Dang it. A second ago, I wasn't, I wasn't recording. I don't know really what I was doing with my life, but I had that fish and there was an even bigger one underneath chasing, chasing him. I was all wrapped up in the tree. Line feels fine. Hey, Rackley, I'm still, uh, I just missed it by an ounce. An ounce, a legit ounce. Yeah, it was a, it was a three six and five eights. So, so yeah, we're, uh, we're getting closer. <laughs> Looks like you have a fish on. Oh, oh, he hit it right at the boat. Did he? Oh my god. Dude, you hit it right at the boat. I had nothing what I was literally in because I thought I had one. I didn't have one and he hit it at the boat. Watch it go down. <laughs> he goes, I think I got one. It just starts really, really fast. No, he wasn't. He was swimming with it to the boat, so I didn't think I had one. Rackley, this is the best, this is the best spot. Look at this point coming off. Prime. This is where they're at. This is where they're at. All these trees, points, wind. Everybody loves a little bit of wind. No way. Oh God. Do you have one? I have no idea. I might have been in grass or something right out the gate. Nope, that is a fish on the first freaking cast right there. You can see all the grass out there. Wow. Okay. This is like an amazing spot right here. Grass and wind. Oh, I see. You can see there's grass all right here. It goes all the way around. There's another one right there. Back to back. Yep, they're here. Throw that thing down. I'm throwing a splinter bait right now. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna do some work right now with that, that saucy swimmer. If you're not throwing a moving bait on this point, you're wrong. This is like textbook any lake. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, what's up? Gonna rob between my legs. Yeah, anybody sitting at home right now, this is pretty much textbook anywhere in the world when it comes to bass fishing. Windy, grassy point. You got one? Yeah. Wow, they are really stacked here. There's another one. Yep. Yep. This one might be decent. One. Yeah, this one's decent. This one's pretty good. Maybe they're munching on spinnerbait, man. Oh, that's a good one. You want the spinnerbait? I, I got, I got one. There we go. That is not a bad one right there. I have no idea. Damn, I don't think that's gonna be, that's not three and a half at all. That's my three, three pounder. Just munching on the spinnerbait. Yeah, you guys ever fish grass flats like this? I mean, this, this you can literally apply this to any, any lake that has got grass on a windy point with grass. Like fork, this is a huge deal out there too. Look at all this little bait right here. Look at all of them. Look at all the stack right here, you guys see that? That's a, that's a crazy amount of bait right there. It's kind of big bait too, which is good. Like seriously, remember remember this. Like it doesn't matter what lake you're on, even up north, they do the same thing. If it's has grass flat, they're stacked on it. Like look at all this bait. There's so much bait out here. This thing may go way out here. I mean, it's shallow out here to the right. Yep, they're all up there, shallow. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, I mean, they're all just, they're stacked up there. Edge of this grass. Oh, oh man. Oh man, that is that's a tight. That's a tight. Okay, wow, that is actually a pretty big fish. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, zero, good. I think she's probably around five. She is five, one, five, one. Big girl weighs five, one. Look at that belly on that thing. Sorry if the audio is bad. The wind is terrible. Okay, I gotta put you back in the water, baby girl. Okay. There you go. Oh my God, I just got hammered, boys. Oh my, knock slack in the line, this little dude. So you're, th oh, this may not be a smaller one. So you're throwing a white spinner bait, but you don't have a trailer on. Yeah. So this might be, a, this is another good one, isn't it? Here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give you my spinner bait. I mean, that is another. Yeah, see, uh, he was throwing a yellowish one earlier and it was not getting bit. And this is clean water. So, I mean, you wanna go, like, you see the difference? Hell yeah, throw a white spinner bait. I'm about to give him my spinner bait right now. I'll give you mine. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm about to almost fell down there. Here, let me, get, let me get that scale. He wants to weigh this one. Yeah, see this, this has got, this lake's got some. What do you think it weighs? I'm gonna say, let me hold it real quick. What do you think? 6'11". 6'11"? I'm gonna say, Six. I'm gonna say four and a half. Say four and a half. I bet five. You bet five? Bet five. Four, five, four and a half. No, I'm just kidding with you. That's a good fish though. That's a, a that's a, hell yeah, what's a good photo, man. Four and a half. Um, God, I wonder if the scale's off. Yeah. There he is. Big? Oh, he's a good, oh, buddy. Is he oh, big, oh. big? No, he's, he's yeah, fat. He's three. Uh, he's fat, fat. Oh, there's one. There we go. Dude, I want to see that one you got. Yours is really fat. This one right here I got is not very big. Oh, God. He really has, he has a mouthful of these things. I'm about to swing this up next to you. Wow, he's a little bit bigger than I thought he was. Fat. He swallowed a football. Look at that. Look how fat that fish is. Come on, there we go. Dude, that is a healthy, that is extremely healthy fish. Look how fat this one is, man. Jeez. To be honest with you guys, look how fat that thing is. That is a beautiful, fat three pound fish. Dude, fishing's fun if you find the fish and it's the right time of the year, like right now, when they're moving back everywhere. Moving baits? I was actually kind of yo-yoing that action now to think about it. I think I was pausing that thing. There's another one. Yep. Wow, that is a, that's a. Hey, y'all double. Y'all double on you. <laughs> How did I even catch this fish? This is a good one. Dude, he's pulling drag right now. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. That's a big one right there. That right there is a big one. Whooped out the crankbait, and I've caught one at four or so, and then I just caught this one right here. That is a, that's a Mondo Mondo. That's a good size fish. Five five? Seems a lot bigger than a five pounder. God, he looks bigger than a five pounder. Really? Five five. Five five. Man, you seem a lot bigger than a five five. I'm about to go check that scale when I get home because it just does not seem right. Oh no, that ain't good. That ain't good. Is this y'all stuff I would assume? So you guys, at least, at least you guys got some, uh, some Guggen baits in your bag. You guys, they actually have, let me see, you got, oops, sorry. You got the old school, they have the old school Bass Mafia money bags. So, what, what do we call you, Cooter? No, what was it? It was, a, it was Bird Dog. Where did I get Cooter from? I have no idea. He got this hat signed two years ago by Flair, AP, and John. And he's missing, I guess now you're actually missing myself, One Rod, and, and LFG. Oh, wow, this is going to look really dark, dude. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Hampton, if I don't know if you're watching this video, buddy, but uh, your buddy Bird Dog, Cooter, whichever we want to call him for right now, he actually has this stuff. I'm going to sign it for you, just so you know that it actually did come for me. He did bring this to get this signed, buddy. I sincerely do appreciate you for uh, snagging some of this Guggen stuff and supporting us. Always got to check to make sure. And they're on. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it may have been kind of a long one. There was a lot of wind that was involved, so... I mean, I don't know what kind of clips were actually used, and I hope you guys are actually okay with me using this phone right now, because I kind of like it. I kind of like the picture. It looks good. Look how, oh, look freaking tasty. 
But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I want to say I'm going to figure out some sort of way for me to be able to do some stuff with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my goal is from now on to do take someone fishing every quarter. That's my goal. To figure out a way that I can actually do that and kind of connect with you guys a little bit more. It'd be a lot. I, I don't know. When I was out there today, I was actually being able to actually physically show these guys what's going on in my head, how to use this. Like, it's, it's yeah, actually, I got some satisfaction of it. I kind of really did enjoy that. So, <sighs> but hey, I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out over here on Lunkers TV. I'll see you guys later. And uh, I, do, I do love you guys. Thanks for watching these videos. I'll catch you guys next time. TV, I'm out.